going on boys part two of the fishing video right now we're gonna go clean the fish that we just caught yeah we just finished fishing so if you guys want to check out all the fish that we caught you can go look at the last video um here's the final fish in the bucket yeah we're so now, now we're at camp at the bar and show them the bar this is the cousins skid one and skid two this is uh, the bar we made all the savage signs and stuff show them the pea shooter the fridge and this is our pea shooter <laughs> our secretive uh peeing spot that nobody knows about so, right you there. Go, so you don't have to go inside yeah so you can go go pee in the bar so uh we're gonna head over now and clean the fish and show you the the best way to clean pickerel let's get it Boys, okay, we made it to the fish hut. We're gonna be showing you guys the way that Chief Wachadi taught us on the res. So this is the way that I've never seen before in my entire life. And I'm gonna show you guys this way right now to make it a lot better, because it especially helps when you're frying fish and anything like that. It makes the slices perfect size for that. So okay, boys, let's get right into it. This is the best way to clean pickerel. Best way to clean pickerel, boys. Let's do it. Step number one, make sure your knife is sharp. I was already cleaning. I'm just gonna re-sharpen it. Just like that. <laughs> okay. So as you can see, I was already doing a lot of damage to all the other fish that we caught earlier. So I'll show you the way the Chief Oichadi taught us. So, as you normally would do, you'll just slab the, the pickerel the regular way. Oh, the mosquitoes are bad. Yeah, mosquitoes are pretty bad right now. And the noceums too. There you go. Nice slab. And I don't know, the way that I like to do it, I just like to leave a little bit of a tail so then when I take the skins off after, you can Take it off easier so you don't using your nails as much. And then sometimes when I miss or when you miss some meat, sometimes you can try to just get the back straps. The back straps. See if it's worth it. Sometimes it's not worth it, but sometimes you can get a decent amount of meat. It's like right here you got a good chunk of meat. A lot of people forget about this chunk here, so it's always good to make sure you get it. Look at that. Look at that. See, look at that. People would have just thrown that right out. So, it's good that we do that. Bugs are bad. Okay, and so then the other side, do the same thing. This side is always the hardest part, the back side. I don't know why it is, but it is. So, you slab it again. And by the way, I'm recording this just assuming that you know how to clean a fish already. This one's always the tougher side. It's probably fine. But I got the fin on it. It's fine. So right. then, so then, actually, there's not much of a back strap here, which is kind of good. So the other thing that people don't normally do, the V, is the V. This is what's known as the the V. So this is the V. So you take. The two bottom fins, just like that. What I do, I cut along one side right underneath the top fin, just like that, and you just cut down till you get about like halfway to the middle of the fish. You feel the bones in the middle, just like that. Now I turn it over, 
and do the same thing on the other side. So I hold the bottom fin and I cut a line around the top fin and I just meet the part where I cut to on the opposite side. And I just cut it like that. And that is the V. So obviously you don't eat well, you, actually, I like to eat the fin, just like up yeah, to here. you're not supposed to eat the fins. There is a bone inside of there. There's the bone, so you basically just like put it in your mouth. Grab it like this, put it in your mouth, and then you just... Suck it off there. Suck it off. Suck it off the bone. Suck it off the bone. But then you get lots of meat. Like, if you get all these pickerel, like, look yeah. at all these. Look it's at all extra these. meat that everyone throws away, but it's always... And it's the V, because it's like the V, like this. It's yeah, the V. The v. And then, all so right, so this the... part of the fish you can all throw out. So, and you can do the cheeks too, but these pickerel are kind of They're small. kind of small. Hard to do the cheeks on the small ones. So now, so what people normally will do is they'll rib them. So the ribs that go along this way, and they'll clean these off before they slab it. And and then they'll do, they'll clean the rest of the fish. What we're going to do instead, well, the way that we learned. From Chief is, Lachati. It's going to slab them, take the skin off first. So what you can also do sometimes is you can just grab the skin and just pull it, shake it like that, and pull off. So we got all the skin off. The skin's garbage. So now you have the entire slab. Mosquitoes. You have the entire slab without the skin now. So now what we can do is I'll show you the three different cut, or I guess two cuts, but the three different portions. So the first way you're going to cut it is you're going to find the end of the ribs. So the ribs go about to here and they go down this way. So what we're going to do, cut this into what we call the Dorito or the taco chip or whatever you want to call it. So this is the taco chip. Just cut it off just like this. And this, this part will have no bones in it. As you can see, it's shaped like a Dorito or a chip. It's triangular in shape, so it looks kind of like a chip. Nice portion of meat. And then now, we'll keep that in our good meat. And then, so then now, so we have the ribs and the part on top. So we're going to cut the part on top off, right in a line, just like this. So right, you're going to find, you're going to feel the bones right here. Yeah. You run your finger along it. There's the ribs there. And we're going to cut this part off of the ribs. Like that. That's a big chunk of meat. Beauty. So now this piece also is full meat, no bones whatsoever. So you don't have to worry about any bones in it at all. So we can keep that over here. And that's what we call the hot dog. Oh, that's the hot dog, that's right, that's a hot dog. So it looks like a hot dog piece. And this piece is now the ribs. And you still have meat on the back. So like now you're wondering like, probably how the heck do you cut that off? So what the way that we t were taught to do is you flip it over so that this is the biggest rib right here. So you flip it over. So like I have it right here. And what you're going to do is if you follow the grain of the ribs, so the, the ribs go in this direction, you can cut on the back side of the ribs along, along the ribs and you can just basically take them all off. So then now I have my finger on the big bone. Again, you put your fingers on it, and you can cut along the tops of them. Just like that. Voila. So now, you have all the ribs right here. These are just ribs. And this is all just garbage now. So then you got rid of all that just in one cut, right along the ribs. And I'll toss that. Now the last part of this, so this is all meat besides, now this is the where like the Y bone is. So and then you see, you can see there's this line of like little pin bones right here. You can feel them with your finger if you feel it. But you're just gonna cut that line right off. So like I just put it in a straight line. I put it in a straight line. And I'll just cut that off. And at least if you butcher this part, you're only missing, you're only missing really this part of meat where you'll, you'll already have, the, for sure, you'll already have this part saved and the taco nacho or whatever saved. So that's already secured. And if you butcher the ribs, you're only losing this amount of meat, which isn't a crazy amount. So you're for sure guaranteed to have two good pieces of meat already. 
which is pretty good. And then they're also, they're all like relatively the same size too, which makes them really nice for, for deep frying so that you know that they take about the same amount of time for the full on cook. So like some pieces aren't super big, so they take longer and other pieces will uh, cook shorter. So that makes it really, really handy when you're cooking in the deep fryer. And yeah, and then you do the same for the other side as well. Yeah. So, but yes, actually I didn't even take the skin off this one. But, but yes, you do the same thing. Just take the skin off. So you take the skin off. You cut the nacho piece, so you, found, you find the end of the ribs right here in the middle of the fish. And you just cut it like the nacho taco. Cut the triangle piece, and this is all good meat, no bones whatsoever. And then you cut the top, the hot dog top off of the top of the the ribs. This is all good. And then you find the big bone here, flip it over, and you cut along along the ribs. This will take some practice to do. Cause yeah, it takes time, but it's probably the best way that we know how to clean pickerel. To make good sizes. Like, obviously, there's different ways you can do it for different sizes of portions. Mm -hmm. Like, it's pretty nice. Like, this is just all ribs, and you got all the meat off of it. And that's just garbage. And then you have to remember the last part take that, that strip line off of here, that Y bone. The y bone. Just cut that sucker off. like that. Beauty. That, my friends, is how you clean fish like Chief Wachadi from the res. Alright guys, so we just finished cooking up the fish that we uh, caught ourselves, so we'll show you what it looks like. Hopefully the focus is going. Yeah, we'll hope. Now we're going to take a taste test right now and see what it's like. Everyone try it. see what we got this Mmm. Very good. Very ten, good. Ten out of ten. Very crispy. Yeah. So that was show me eating the beef. Wait, these are these are the V's. Everyone. Lots of sauce. And there's the bone on the inside. Yeah. All right. That's all for our. Catch and cook and clean video. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.